I am from the Philippines. I'm from Phoenix. Together, Together we're, we're Phil's, Phil's to Phoenix. Phoenix. Two countries. One heart. Welcome, Welcome to, to our, our Chica Chica. Chica. <laughs> yeah. They didn't intend on being monthly, but yeah, hey. We are here in Ashford Flags, Lake Flagstaff. So this is our view and we want you to show our view for the for three days and for basically three days or four days. So amazing wildflower bushes or whatever and then late and pine trees. So come on join us. So what been happening? Um I got my I have my birthday experience here. It's my first camping ever in a trailer. It's really comfy. It's like we're taking our home anywhere we want. So it's basically one of my dream come true, like one of my bucket list check. Um, <laughs> my heart is overjoyed. I full think it's good for me. It's a self healing. Um, tell us the experience how we got the trailer. <laughs> But I'm just happy. That's just my emotions. You're more uh, logical. <laughs> <laughs> She's the emotional one, which is a good thing. Yeah. That we we've been trying to go out and, and do something once a month or so. Yeah. And we tried the hotel thing. Yeah. And, and that that worked okay, but it was kind of a pain making reservations and all that fun stuff. And yeah. Uh, I'd talked about travel trailer. We talked about it a couple times even before we left. Yeah. Uh, we'd even toyed with the idea of buying a trailer yeah. and just traveling the U.S. before we left yeah. uh, instead of leaving. And we, we kind of tossed that idea for a couple of reasons. Uh, and then we, what, after we got uh, summer, our, our new frontier, we kind of looked at getting a trailer a little bit more seriously. <coughs> a lot of pollen. Show them the picture for a few There's a pad. There's a boat. Sorry for distracting. Oh, no. Yeah, there's a lot of people up here that. Matter of fact, we almost didn't find a spot. We found one of the last spots when we came up Friday afternoon. Ah, uh, but we got lucky Whoop. that the spot we found. Do I get in your own? Yeah, you can turn, go over there or turn around. Or go over in the street. Okay, sorry for interrupting. Oh, no worries. But yeah, this is actually kind of a gorgeous place. I'll try and get some video before we leave. You okay with that? You okay with that? <laughs> okay. Keeping the sun out of Shauna's eyes. But uh, my sister and her husband have been camping. Matter of fact, uh, they made comment about it. They, camping for 50 th this years. is 50 years that they, they've been out camping. doing a, a, a real heavy RV life. Uh, late 70s to early 90s, they lived full time out of RVs. Yeah. Uh, and so it. it at this point, it's in their blood. That, that, that's just what they do. And we're becoming, we're copying them, I think. That they had the trailer and it was a little bit, that he's turning 80 this year. Uh, my sister's 76, 75. And so the trailer and the, the truck and such was a little bit much for yeah, them. 75. They're five years. Uh, and so they, they wound up getting one of the Class C, one of the uh, conversion van types. And ironically that they'd been pulling this with the, the, the same truck that I've got. Yeah. And so they made us an offer that we couldn't refuse and we wound up getting their RV. That's our new, Thank you me. haven't named it yet. <laughs> uh, We've had it a whole three days. I'm kind of surprised she hasn't named it yet. Well, I'm just like leaving the moment. <laughs> we haven't we haven't explored that emotion yet. Yeah. I'm just like leaving the moment right now. 
but we 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 talked about it and we decided we could afford it the price was right and like i said they made us an offer that we just couldn't refuse and i think it's worth the investment because of the mem memories we were taking or experiencing in the future with china and we could go anywhere in the u.s without like worrying about booking a hotel i think practical reason we could save more money on on this you know as an accountant perspective if we do amortization or whatever okay that's just my accountant perspective so okay <laughs> moving on to the second news um well i'm just gonna tie it up aside from my birthday i got my promotion for this month yes um that that kicks in uh, later, this, later month. this month. I'm not sure exactly when. And then it's a beer season. It's Christmas season. Yes. So I'll get a tie those three up. Now this is actually Sunday the 4th that we're recording this. Yeah. And stay tuned for another video uh, later this week. Yeah. We'll probably do a Friday's video on this. Today we have been back exactly 180 days. days. Today is our hunt, our six month anniversary in the U.S. again. Yeah, hold on. I'm uh oh. Take a flower break. Go. Somebody's getting pictures of flowers. <laughs> I can't even see it. They're just too beautiful. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you're taking a video of me. Sorry about that. Which is actually kind of. Is it like flowers? It like nature? Oh, they have purple over there too. And this is kind of the cool part to camping, especially for her. In a hotel, I see her. it was a lot of uh, a lot more comfort. Don't get me wrong, the trailer is friggin' amazing. Hold on, there's an orange one. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk for a minute. <laughs> it's just too. Don't get me wrong, the trailer is amazing. It's got a permanent bed. Uh, we kind of did a, a, a short that gave a real fast overview of it. Yeah. Here in the next couple of weeks, we'll do a little bit better video of it, what's going on with it. The inside also more to show you when it's a lot cleaner and not this. <laughs> right now, we're just, uh, it's everything. Yeah, when, when I did the short, that, that was literally my third time in there in the trailer. Oh, this is a different kind of flower. <laughs> But that was one of the drawbacks of doing the, the hotels is the outside view was typically a parking lot or you now maybe across the street there was some some scenery and stuff. Yeah. And for this weekend, for Labor Day weekend, the we looked at hotels and ninety dollar hotel rooms turned into two hundred dollar hotel rooms. Sixty, seventy dollar hotel rooms were turning into a hundred and eighty dollars. It's like a long country road. But these are on forest roads, and this is actually a national forest campground. Uh, they were ten dollars a night. Uh, that, that I've got an access pass, and so uh, because my sister has a Class C, we'll wind up uh, back there. But because my sister's got the Class C, that we were able to put both both campers. Up is unlocked. We were able to put both campers onto one site. So the Class C wound up being just an extra vehicle for a couple of nights. Yeah. So both camp both campers were only $18 for the night. <coughs> now we're gonna head out tomorrow morning. Yeah. Monday morning right after breakfast hopefully get out of here by about nine o'clock eight nine o'clock mm -hmm. uh there's a dump station on the way back that will dump the 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 septic tanks mm -hmm. and then head continue heading back into phoenix and get there hopefully before noon yeah. uh and be able to put the trailer away uh yeah poor some poor summer and uh you gotta come up with a name for the trailer the trailer 
with being on these dusty roads that they 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 need a bath badly both of them find another ass uh, but yeah the, uh, there's a lake right close to, to Phoenix called uh, Lake Pleasant yeah. and it here not next weekend but probably the following week we're going to run up there and that'll kind of give us a a real close place to to do a little bit more experience the, Cindy's been to Lake Pleasant a few times mm -hmm. Uh, and it's a real nice place and they got their own dump station there so we can dump when we come back but uh, it will be close enough to, uh, to the house that if we need something or forgot something which we did this trip we forgot a few things oh. and that's the other thing Chana loves this and that particular stroller she really enjoys it she will sleep real fast almost as quick as a car seat yeah. uh and Sean was even enjoying this yeah, she, she was, was she yeah. was fighting sleep all day yesterday she's trying to see the clouds the trees everything that she could see oh my god she will be a nature lover like mama and papa she will be an adventurer like mama and papa yeah because i grew up camping the my parents on the travel trailer since the late 60s and that they've been camping up yeah you can head that way she's not really asleep i could not imagine she just we just she just awake and now she's asleep now <laughs> and then when you put her back in the bed then she's really awake <laughs> okay um another thing we're gonna look forward is the preparation of yeah the Chana's birthday is fast approaching yes and we've got people coming in from all over the country to for this yeah your sister Janice and then Carolyn and then my brother so so we got to get on a stick and get that organized yeah hammered up but I know in my mind I could do it so and we've still got a bunch of stuff on the plate. You know, don't, don't get us wrong on that one. Uh, life is beginning to get a routine, beginning. Yeah. And we, we had a, uh, one of those uh, intense discussions um, yeah. uh, about getting better organized and- Show them the lake, it's so perfect. I'm just taking a picture. <laughs> We're getting a, a, a momentary lapse for scene reviews because yeah this is this is way cool it's worth sharing it may not be quite philippines views but it's close yeah it's beautiful and i've never been to a mountain lake in the philippines so this might be closer oh. to philippine view than i thought yeah. uh yeah i just noticed that it I've got you like pointing right directly towards the sun. So. Okay, that's perfect. I can see you. We'll let you have you. Uh, so I'll just get on this side. We'll let you have uh, yeah, the, the lake as a background. Yeah, the other view is. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so from birthday is the painting of the house. And Cindy and I it discussed and debated. And, and We're just going to go that first priority because with visitors coming, at least we have the house painted. Well, and that's just it. We're going to come up with a project timeline. We're going to list all the projects that we want and then do a construction timeline to, to help better organize and keep things going. I'm just trying Is she still asleep or awake? No, you're awake. No. Okay. She says there's way too much to see and do. They, 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 they. When I'm moving, she's asleep. When I stop, she's awake. <laughs> So this week we're going to, uh, and, and I've seen a couple of templates to do uh, home improvement timelines that we'll come up with a timeline and, and stick to it and, and uh, instead of the shotgun approach, try a laser approach at it. Yeah. <laughs> I guess maybe I shouldn't have pointed them out. 
but, but she loves taking pictures of flowers. If any of you are subscribers to her uh, Facebook page, you'll see thousands of pictures of flowers. <laughs> you will get to appreciate that when you grow up, China. Because well, we've got some inside projects that we need to get done. Uh, we, we're changing out the flooring to the hold on. wood laminate flooring, the wood plank flooring. Uh, we're scraping the popcorn ceiling off of the three bedrooms, or the two bedrooms in the living room. Uh, we're doing some landscaping projects. At this point, there's a couple things I'd like to do for the trailer. Uh, it needs a 30 amp service to run the AC. And so, uh, for the meantime, I can do just an extension cord and not run the AC because it's Phoenix during the winter. You really don't need an AC. Yeah. Uh, and so, during the, the summer, we, we'd probably like to have that not to run the AC all the time, but to have the ability, like if her parents come out or something like that, that that'd give them. A full and private place uh, I'd like to find the sewer clean out so that that way uh, instead of stopping someplace we could just go to the house get it back in and clean out at the house yeah. so there's actually been another house project added uh, I got a plumber friend of mine that he uses a guy that he, he charges really reasonably and naturally said to use his name and uh, should get his pricing, which he, he thinks actually may be his normal pricing. But he's got the camera and equipment to go down and find the connection underground in the pipe itself. And then the camera has some kind of locator on it that he comes out around the ground and knows where to dig. And so, you know, like Charlie said, it makes it impossible to drop possible. Uh, can you think of anything else? Now I'm so in love with this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> but whenever we go camping, we'll do the walking chica chicas. Yeah. So start looking for these to be happening a little bit more. Oh we, we are going to try, and at this point I'm going to emphasize try, to start posting a lot more regularly like we used to. Still doing the Wednesday live streams. But for now, from Ashley Flagstaff, Mabuhai.